Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is The Pressure of Liquid Gas in Physics. So, liquid gas isn't really a phase of matter. The typical phases of matter are solid, liquid, and gas, although there are others, but these are primarily the three that one studies in an introductory chemistry or thermodynamics course. And if we're interested in pressure, uh, we typically employ what's called the ideal gas law. And the ideal gas law is a mathematical relationship that relates the pressure and the volume of a gas to the temperature and the number of moles that you have in your container. And it's given as, at least in one form, the pressure times the volume is equal to the number of moles times the gas constant times the temperature. So if I want to solve for the pressure then, I simply divide both sides by the volume, and I have the pressure equals nRT divided V. So this is a constant, and we would have to supply or know the temperature and the volume, as well as the number of particles in the gas. And coincidentally, if you want to examine the, these types of properties for uh, liquids or uh, more complicated gases, you can actually incorporate additional features into this equation. And these things are called corrections. So you can actually formulate more complicated expressions, uh, but heuristic ones nonetheless. And of course, you would be using this as an approximation to describe the pressure uh, of a gas or um, a liquid uh, given uh, for, for any given physical system. So this is the expression that we end up if we assume the ideal gas law. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is The Pressure of Liquid Gas in Physics.